Hey everyone, welcome back to another video and this video I'm going to talk about how to use and activate live translation on your iPhone after updating to the iOS 26. So let me show you and this is what you have to do. So live translation is actually a very good feature and this is what you have to do. The first of all you have to go over here on your iMessage and make sure that someone texts you from their end. So right now I have received two messages. One is hi and hey, how are you? These two are received from their end. So if I wanted to replay them back after translating, this is what I have to do. All I have to do is just go over here, press and hold. Then I have to click on the translate icon over here, you can see, tap on the translate. I have two options, translate this particular message or I have to go for translate the conversation. So I'm going to replay them in the conversation. So go for translate conversation. And right now it asks you these kind of languages, whether you want to do Chinese, translate them with Chinese, French, German, Italian, etc. So you can go for the respective language that you want to do. For example, I'm going to replay them back with French. So let me go over here. So it is downloading the French. So uh, when the language is downloaded, so right now the language wasn't downloaded in my case. So tap on the download over here. So uh, it is getting downloaded. Then afterwards, when I type them over here, when I click them, what happens is waiting for translate message. As you can see, right now I can type whatever I wanted to and it will be in the French to the opposite person. So this is one of the coolest feature as I concern. And also this particular feature is also available while as you can see the language has to be getting downloaded this will take a little bit of time so in the meantime so for example if you're receiving any kind of call on what you have to say for example if you receive any kind of facetime call or whatever it is we even have an option over there so let me make a call to someone So as you can see, I'm making a call in the FaceTime. So uh, let the opposite person at, uh, receive it. So once the opposite person receive it, what I'm going to do is, as you can see, we have a three dot menu over here. So what I'm going to do is once you click on the three dot menu, you'll be having a live translation option as you can see. You'll be having a live translation so what you need to do is just click on the live translation so right now as you can see from here you can select from which language that you can select the language that you are willing to talk for example from the french german portuguese you can select the language that you wanted to and the opposite person will be receiving on the english whatever it is so you can translate you can talk to them like this and that is also work in some cases but for some users, it may not happen. Like even after they try a little bit, it's not working for them. So what I'm going to do is let me cancel this call. So sometimes, you know, uh, if after trying with this one, if that is not working, this is what you have to do. Sometimes if the live translation feature is not available in the both the FaceTime as well as on your translate option is not there, this is what you have to do. Just go over here in the settings. Now after you here, scroll down and navigate to the Apple Intelligence and Siri. Make sure the Apple Intelligence turn it on. So even if turn it on, if it's not working, the Apple Intelligence might be having some bug. Make sure one thing under the Siri request, the language should be selected and it should be the language in which you are actually living. For example, in my case, I'm from English and my native language is India. So I have to select India. Once you cross check this, you have to go back and navigate to the general. Now from here, you have to scroll down a little bit and you have to navigate to the language and region. Now from here also you have to select the country as per your needs that is very important so this is what you have to do after cross-checking these two or making the geography is correct if you go back to the apple intelligence and city once you turn the apple intelligence turn it on the next time when you are trying to make it it will be working fine and this is what you have to do and i hope this quick video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification that's it bye bye